All right, welcome everyone. I'm going to be doing a quick breakdown here between the SLX BFS, Corrado BFS, and Scorpion BFS. Uh, on paper, uh, using the schematics and also just kind of their weight and bearings and stuff, they're all very similar. I'm going to break these down and I'm going to see what is actually more different uh, than just the name on these reels. So stay tuned for that. Also, make sure you comment down below if you have any sort of BFS questions at all. All right, so I'm going to have it set up here. I have the Scorpion right here, the schematics, Corrado in the middle, and then SLX over here. So what, how this is going to work is I'm going to break down the Corrado. I'll show that being broke down like on camera. And then I'm just going to have the other ones already broken down just for the sake of time. Got some border cover on that one. Okay. So set them aside. I'll try to keep all the parts individually, like in these little sections here underneath the schematics. And then I'm going to show kind of what the gears look like. So kind of lay everything out side by side. So I did find, if you watch my my other videos, I did not do a review series on the, uh, oh, yeah, flip that's open. I did not do a review series on the uh, Scorpion, just because when I got it, it's been out for a long time, and I figured it kind of really wasn't worth doing a video on. But for me, uh, I did do a, a series on the Corrado and also on the SLX. So if you haven't seen those videos, I suggest going to check those out. Uh, if you want to see the performance difference on them, but uh, to sum it up, they they perform pretty much the same. Uh, nothing. Oh, I'll take this stuff off first. There's a big. Oh, I won't say a big difference, but a difference here. The the handle nut retainer is a little bit different, as you can see here, and they're pretty much the same on the Scorpion and the SLX BFS. Pretty pretty much yet yeah, exactly the same. Most of it's just going to take your a Phillips screwdriver to take apart. This Roto tool is actually pretty nice. They started out with one of these. It's like a plastic one that they had, which works pretty good. Um, the biggest thing is that if your handle nut was on there really tight, this thing would kind of flex and not really do it that well like that. So I used the metal, the, then they came out with the metal one after a few customers said something about it, which is actually pretty, it came out pretty quick. It was like within like a month or two, uh, which is by the time you get all the tooling and everything done. Come on. There we go. So I just get it loose with this one and then I just go through. These are all left-handed, so it's gonna be reverse thread as well. It seems really weird. It was like some metal in there for some reason, like almost like it was cross-threaded getting put on or something. This is the first time you've taken this apart. Don't know if that's spring-loaded or not. Yep. So hold the. Make sure you hold the star drag down if you're looking to do maintenance on. If you're watching this video for maintenance, a little spring here. Then if you're having issues taking this off, just put your finger on the line guide right here and you just take it off that way. I'll show you a little something. Let me move this tool now. So there's a little washer on there. Just keep that connected to it. Not, um, that, what that does, that puts pressure on these two bent washers and that's what gives you enough tension to keep everything straight. I've got some hair in there. And I just keep them, they're kind of like shaped like Pringle chips so if you have it, make sure that they're, when you put them back together, they are opposite of each other, they're not, they're not stacked together like this. Put them so they're stacked away from each other. That way they're bending, they're kind of bending against each other. Let me see. They're kind of bending against each other and then um, you get that tension I was speaking of. All right. It'll be, I think, four frame screws total. And all these schematics look exactly the same. I'm gonna show you a little trick that I use uh, for the JDM reels. You won't really need to use it for the Corrado. Unless you do not read or speak English, then you can use the same uh, tip that I'll show here in a, in a few minutes. Let's hold my frame together just so there's 
I'm not losing parts inside the frame. And just a, this is a, um, a number zero uh, Phillips screwdriver, just to, just to let you know. It, it works for me. You can also use a standard screwdriver, like a flat one as well. It does. It is cut out for that. And I think those are going to be the only ones. Well, that looks different, a little pink part in there. All right, so one thing I see with this uh, compared to, I don't say compared to, but noticing with the... Uh, with the Scorpion is I've taken the Scorpion apart before and it has the same black gear like this. It's like a coating I think they use on, on some of their on some of their gears. And the clicking mechanism is inside here as well. See I'll try to get that up on the camera. Oh let me let me move the gear a little bit. See that little ball right there? This tension that's down like this. Then when that turns, let me hold the gear set straight. If I had the washer and there, it would click around inside of a ring. I will. I guess I'll take it out for for the sake of new viewer new viewers to my channel. That's your drag. There's a drag washer there. I will put probably put a little bit of grease there. It does feel pretty good, so I don't want to mess with it too much. I'm not going to do a full cleaning or anything. If you want to see cleaning, uh, basically the parts that you clean is the gears for. Clean those like you know Dawn dish soap or whatever with some hot water or any sort of mild degreaser, and then you just make sure it's all dry and then you just put some, uh, not too much grease, just a light amount of grease. I'll probably put a little bit more than what's on here, uh, but that's that's all that's all you do for your I guess your like in in year uh, service. If you're doing a full cleaning, then you know you take it apart more than that. Okay, so that's the inside here. Let me take. I kind of organize this a little bit better. I kind of keep everything by itself. That's probably as far as I'll break it down, uh, just just to see the differences. I don't know why that's that pink color. I've never seen that before. It's kind of odd. All right, so now you see the other reel is broken apart as well. All right, so I was taking apart the SLX BFS, and there's a clicker that came out. There's a hole right there. I don't know if it's a spare clicker. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see if we can find it on here. No, oh, it does have a little detent. It's like number 12 and 13. There wasn't a plate on there. I'm confused. Maybe I should, maybe I should have, uh... no, that wasn't on there. Just the handle. Anything on the back of the handle? Whoa! Oh, that makes sense why it's there. It's a. These are all little indents all around there. And this itty bitty thing, that's what makes the drag star click instead of having it internal. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to get back to disassembling this then. That's just a little, a little change because that was not in the Scorpion. All right, uh, so here's the full the full spread here of uh, the three reels: Scorpion, Corrado, and SLX. Biggest difference, uh, like you saw, was how that clicking. Just this washer with a little pin. I'm not gonna pick it up, but just a little pin that rides in there, just like how kind of how the um, the drag clicker works. That's the biggest difference right there uh, between the Corrado and the SLX BFS. So with that being said. The Scorpion Crotto, uh, more so similar, just in that aspect. Let's look at some other things. Uh, everything's pretty much the same. Also, um, one thing that's, that's different, like I, I pointed out before, was the um, the handle retaining uh, washer was the same on the Scorpion and the SLX. The Crotto is a little bit different. Okay, keep looking here. I mean, the gears are the same material. The clicking drag works the same. Uh, one thing that was different too, the SLX, uh, these two are brand new 
for me getting them. I got the the Scorpion U, so I can't speak on you know the drag washer being wet or dry. But there's definitely barely, barely anything on this drag washer here. This will go. This this washer goes underneath the main gear, and then if we look at the the one on the SLX BFS, this thing is just like soaked with lubrication. I'll just leave it how it is, just in case it's how they wanted it or whatever. It it still works pretty good. Uh, the spools are the same on the at least being ported the same on the Corrado and with the SLX BFS. I did fish these. I interchanged them a little bit. They fished exactly the same. No fitment issues at all. Uh, even with the Scorpion spool, it, although it's a little bit more ported and a little bit lighter, it does uh, fit into the Corrado and the SLX BFS. So when I got these two reels right away, one of the first things I did was, hey, actually beforehand, I emailed uh, Roro and I said, these spools, these reels are going to be big and there's already the the Scorpion BFS. Like, so once I confirm those, well, before I confirm them, I said, so if you can make a spool, if you can make a, a, a BFS, like aftermarket BFS spool for the Corrado SLX slash Scorpion, uh, definitely they'll get the money's worth for sure. Cause this is a really affordable platform to be able to upgrade. Uh, it has a proven braking system with the FTB braking system. All three of the reels have that. And if they're able to just put a lighter spool in there, I mean, you could take this, say the Corrado, you're in the US, you get the Corrado BFS, fish this with like, your shaky heads or whatever bass stuff you want. And then you can take this to the streams or with panfish lures or whatever with the lighter uh, the lighter spool in there. And you have, a, you have a pretty versatile setup just buying one reel. This is less than $200 plus the spool. Let's say that spool goes for like $70 or I don't know. That's actually a really, really nice setup that you'd have for less than $300. You basically have two very capable BFS reels. And with the Scorpion, also, the Scorpion taking the same size spool, that just gives them more marketability. So I know I got an email back, and Ken from Roro, he said that they're going to be looking into making the spools. I've seen how they made the Aldebaran one and the uh, Shimano, uh, the Calcutta BFS, the Conquest BFS. Uh, there should be very little tooling differences because there are different size uh, spool diameters, I think, and at least the I think the spool shafts are different. I know that they're all very similar, but they're just slightly different in typical Shimano fashion. But so it shouldn't take them too much longer just to alter their plans that they got there. Uh, one other difference you can see here is just the different color casting control knob. They all they're all interchangeable. So I mean, if let's see. I don't remember trying the Scorpion. So I'll try the Scorpion one onto the Corrado BFS. Well, one thing I did notice too, I forgot to say when I took it apart, there's a lot of grease on this bearing here. It has no performance on your casting at all, but that's just one difference I saw compared to the other ones that this had a lot more grease. Let's see, I'll take this one off here. I mean, imagine they're all interchangeable. The side plate numbers have the same marking of 186 although this one says 186-2 this says 186-2 and this one just says 186-1 so i don't know if there's fitment differences in there but i don't really think that there are i mean everything else is exactly the same why would they go through and just make very minor differences yeah this cat's control knob works on there just fine so i mean Definitely between the, definitely between the, uh, the Corrado BFS and the SLX BFS, it's it's mainly just a cosmetics and availability thing. I know that the Corrado is slightly less expensive, uh, at least how the market is right now. Uh, the SLX does have a uh, does have a lower gear ratio available. This is the same gear ratio, the 8.2 to one. All three of these reels are the XG. The Scorpion BFS, they have a. Um, that reel has the lower gear ratio too. I think it's a 6.3 if I'm not mistaken. But they're all they're all pretty much the same. And that one hack I was gonna show, well, I don't wanna call it a hack, but the one thing I was gonna show you guys, so this is for the, this is for the Prado BFS. Let me switch over to the XG left-handed. Okay. So doing this, 
one thing you can do. So you, if you, I have a Google phone, but I imagine this works for Apple or anything else. So with your camera settings, let me see, make sure I'm getting this. So click on modes and then you have lens or the, lens is just its own app. So what I can do now, it's gonna be a little bit hard to show you guys, I think. But what I can do is, so this is over here. I click here and then click here to search. Oh, my bad. I click over to translate, it's down here. So now I'll click here. And I can take a photo of them. And that's how you can see all the parts right there, what, what they are. So then you just line up the number over here and you can see what it is. So if I compare that, to, let's say the Corrado BFX left handle, I mean, there might be some translation differences, but looking here, I mean, it says like screw E-lock, retainer E-lock's probably the same. Uh, there's not a number three part on here that I'm seeing. But you can just go through a lot of them. A lot of them are the same. Uh, they don't have, they don't have the same exact part numbers. So this is BNT, and then it's a four-digit number. That's a lot of times. That's how uh, Shimano North America would do their part numbers. Versus the Asian markets, a lot of times they just have straight-up numbers, <clears throat> just like this. So this might be a fair comparison, but. They're pretty much the same exact reels. Uh, the Scorpion does have a slightly different, slightly lighter spool, like I mentioned, but there it is. Um, and if you're watching this for the Corrado BFS kind of takedown, this is pretty much the takedown here. Uh, there's a little bit more takedown you can do. Uh, these two screws here, there's a, there should be a bearing underneath here. Uh, and taking off some of these clips here, that's, that gives you access to be able to take out your worm guide, to be able to clean that. A lot of times you can get dirt in there and stuff like that. So it's a good idea to do that, uh, especially if you fish a lot of dusty environments or like really, if you have like a lot of sediment and silt and stuff in inside your uh, waters, a lot of times you can get your worm gear or like back here would get all kind of gunky. So you wanna clean that all off, like probably once a year, depending on how much you fish. But yeah, so overall, they're pretty much the same exact reel across the board, uh, mainly just availability. Uh, the Crotto being, I think, cosmetically my favorite. It, it, I do like the green and gold uh, accents there, but really it's just all down to availability. Or if you want that lower gear ratio, you're going to have to go with the Scorpion or the SLX. But they're all going to perform pretty much the same. And one thing for me is that my Scorpion gears are a little rough. Like I bought it used and it was, it was pretty rough. So I think for me, I could just, now I can order some Crowdo BFS gears and just put those in there and be good to go. All right, so as you can see, all three reels are very, very similar, uh, which is good because let's say if you need parts for the Scorpion BFS, if you bought that a couple years ago, Crowdo BFS parts for the most part will fit. The only thing that was kind of weird that threw me off was how this drag, the drag star clicker works on the SLX BFS. It's a really weird way to work, but it's actually a, a kind of a genius way that you'd be able to modify at home or have somebody else modify to be able to add a dragging, I mean, a clicking drag star to your to your existing reel. So that's pretty good for me. Um, but yeah, all three perform very well. And I, like I said, we're always gonna be making a spool for this platform, or these platforms, I should say. So it's actually really good news. At less than $200, the Crado BFS is actually a really good price. Available in the US, uh, fishes very well, skips very well. And getting that shallow rower spool, it's only going to open up the possibilities for stream fishing and also for like ultralight fishing as well. So if you want to see, uh, when whenever I get that spool, I'm going to be doing a review of that as well. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that and also for other BFS content as well. Thanks for watching.